Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two. And welcome back to Xenoblade. So last time I did basically the last big chunk of quests. We still have a, a few more, but we can get those done uh, over the course of these of this next bit. And uh, we're gonna do some some story. But first, I finished the quest that needed us to get silver and tall fibers. So, just going to quickly turn this one in, since it's right here. What do you need? Those are silver and tall fibers. They look really strong, but they're so flexible as well. Now I just need to implant them into my muscle tissue. This guy wanted to just get stronger. Seems like it worked. I feel lighter than ever. I feel stronger too. It's like there's energy coursing through me. Very nice. And he's gonna rescue people. Good on your lad. Sleek oil Sleek. and silk oh, trunks. trunks. Hmm. Oh, someone apparently already has it equipped, and that's Rick. Okay. Uh, we have other stuff we can put on. We do. Wait, no, we got the quick step uh, stuff on. Yes. What Never mind. Happen? New... Aerith Type 3. Where did we get that? I don't know, but it looks awesome. Purple. Nice purple. Melia? The Sky Rod. The Wisdom Rod. The Machina Rod. Eh. Melia's... Machina Rod on. Melia's weapons, they don't, they don't do anything for me. They all just look kind of bland. I prefer they are just styles. Yeah, alright. And I think we could do some more... Sir, what do you think? Uh, is there anything we need to do before the next story bit? No, I think we've done everything that's going to get cut off. So nothing... Nothing that much. Uh, this timed one is for the area after McConnus Field. So there's still time for that one. Uh, I think we can just... Yeah. I think we just, uh, we can just go on. Alright. Let us... keep her going. Also, yeah. It's... It's the, um... The quest we have now, which is like... Four. And, uh, that's... It for Fallen Arm for a good bit. Also, already done the ones here. Uh, I fucked two unique monsters. I heard I fucked. Uh, yes. So, in order to progress, we just need to activate two little dongles. Dongle down there. Can't I? Can't I just? just uh, maybe can't, can't railing. Just... Railing says no. That looks like a fight. Maybe. Maybe if you press it, a bunch of boys will show up. Oh, 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 power supply oh, area oh, two. Oh, story of under attack. You're going to kill me. Yes. No fight. There's one viola or viola. Oh, the poor. Oh, the poor thing. 
I'll tell you, this team, it's, I think it's one of the strongest teams. Tough part, small. <laughs> tough, tough, small part. <laughs> that, that tickled you, huh? <laughs> so, your sense of humor, I swear. Me brain thinks I'm in me twenties. Me humor thinks I'm in me teens. But me body, me body thinks we die in the Civil War. Okay. All right, and then I think we just go press another button. Nighttime, no change. We are inside. But if we were to go outside, it would be different. Sir, ain't not doing nothing. <sighs> they're like, they're like 10 levels below. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, from doing all the uh, quests, you wanna know what we got from one of them? What? A new Monado art. Oh. I believe it's Monado armor. So you know how uh, a shield, you wanted shield to be better because all it does is just block vision yeah. moves? Yeah, armor, it just ups our defense. It's what you wanted shield to be. Lower chainsaw. Nice. And this team, great thing about this team, you, you most often than not get a lot of uh, options to extend to the chain attack. Because they have very good affinity. Shulk and Ryan? Yeah, Shulk and Ryan have max affinity. And I think him and Fiora have level 4? I think we are coming up on the point where I might need to grind affinity levels. Cause sir, you remember- you grind affinity levels? You get a lot of items and you give them as presents. It's- it's a thing. Yeah, sir, do you remember that there's, um, there's heart-to-hearts in this game? Yeah. Yeah. The two we did at the beginning of the game and we haven't done any more. When- when we do do those, um, how should I do them? If you don't ignore that fucking thing. No. Yes. Ah, you fucking. You fucking ding 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 ding. When we do get to the heart to hearts, how should I do them? Should I do them like all of a certain character combination? Like all the Shulkin Ryans? Or I think you should just do area by area. Or should I do all the like level one affinity ones and then the twos and like that there's a couple options here but yeah i think we are gonna save the heart to hearts till the end of the game though because we do get access to the rest of them at the end of the game because you keep getting them until that last area. We got all the uh, collectibles for this area, right? Yes, we did. We even got all that we needed for um, uh, Colony 6, I believe. Your mother. Alright. We've got down here. Yes. I believe this will be area oh, no. area one. This isn't going well. Backwards block jump. Wahoo! 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 Waho
And now a third button. There's that. Done. Let me guess. A man? No. No man. I got this. I got this. No, 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 no. Too far. Chalk's dead. Yep. Hey. Hey. It would have been funny if we if we let if we survived though. Well. Uh. Brian does have max health. Oh. And and. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I know we have one. Here, where is it? Too many damn gems. It should be. Well, I don't know if we can put it on a weapon. Yeah, probably, probably not. Um, fall defense. Here we go. Fall defense four. All right, let's see here. All right, so place your bets. He has max health, and he has fall defense four. Will he live this? Maybe. Alley oop. No well, damn. Well, damn. Guess we gotta go the long way. What is the long way? How, where are we even? Hmm. Okay, I think we just gotta. Yeah. You try, you try for the speedrun strats, and they just don't pan out the way you hope they would. But I believe with this done, we may be done with the area? Maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe? I don't think if we've seen a red monster here. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'll be honest. Ooh, fourth floor, main power switch. Um, we do get cut off from this area, so that's probably why. Hmm. Okay. That's spinning. And open the door. Open the door. Open the door. We are still missing a couple areas here. Missing two landmarks and two locations. But we don't get cut off soon, so I can probably just get those later. Kill them. None of these guys are even... Kill them. Y'all suck. You try to be big old guard. And more stronger than that. Sans Undertale. High velocity lift. Okay.
quite a, uh, quite a big elevator, huh? Mm-hmm. But from that red flag on the map, I believe we have made it to the end of the area. If we get to the top anytime soon, bam. Oh, big door. Yeah, this totally doesn't look like a big ol' fight. Hopefully that's a good idea. All right, let's go. What is button? No. Okay. Let's just walk. Oh, oh. Cool door. lanes. First, Zebrai Bulkhead. All right, here we go. Are you okay? She looks very tired. Should she not get some rest? Oh, thank you. But really, I'm okay. No. We'll find a safe place to rest. We've hardly stopped since we left the village. Ricky tired too? Ricky tummy rumble? I'm with you. <sighs> Time to park our... Get down! Da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Another vision. Nice one, Shulk. No, it wasn't. Shulk? You did well to evade me. Just what you'd expect from he who wields the Monado. Ooh. Her voice. Ooh. It's oh. A oh. Is there someone inside? What do we do, Shulk? We fight. Don't kill him. Oh boy. We got a fight with good old uh good good old man right here. Gatto. Maybe. Probably. Uh do we want this team? Okay. I forgot this was a thing. Linear laser. Probably just hide behind the yeah, and then it canceled out. I see it. Okay, I probably okay. So you just gotta run to the next barrier during this vision time. Even though that won't kill. Yeah, I forgot this was a section. Don't know why they did this, but okay. We were in the vision so long, Shulk started to do an idol. We're we're get we're getting there. Ever ever so slowly. I believe after this one, we should be able to make it to him.
Oh, nice. All right, but we've 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 made it to him. Jade face. Here he is. I guess you, I guess you would call that Jade. Now we can just stop his bullshit. Done. Shola! Gado! It's you, isn't it? Please answer me! Let me see you! Oh. Okay, he looked kind of cool like that. Oh, damn. Gado! I knew you were alive! Shala's boyfriend. The destruction I, yeah, of Monado. I guess that's yeah, right. That is the will of Lord Egil. Gado? What do you mean, Lord? What's Egil done to you? What's wrong, Gado? Why would you say that? Speak to is me, Gado. Intestines are replaced with an orb. This world is in disarray. I think Bro is worse off than Fiora. I must eliminate the cause of this disorder and restore the world to its original form. That is my duty. Nay, the will of the world. Now, the time has come. He's talking through him. So he called himself Lord Pompous. What happened? End of a chapter is what happened. Damn, I'm okay. Chapter 14. I think Fiora may have gone demon timing. It is not far off now. A world in which there is no need for fear. The hour draws near. Our will shall soon be done. Oh? First, there is the matter of the Monado. Victory can only be assured if we destroy the Monado before it's too late. I sense your existence. I know you are alive. Zanza, the hour is upon us. Your time has come. This man always speaking cryptic shit. So apparently Zanza's alive. Somehow. Shulk. What the shit? Shulk. Elvis? Who's calling my name? Shulk. You have acquired the ability to glimpse the future. The ability to understand the law of causality as decided by a higher power. A higher power? Like the Bionis. Why do you desire to change the future? Why do you wish to act against their will? I do just as anyone would do. It is natural to want to change an unhappy future. If that is their will, then I choose to fight. If that is what you wish, Shulk, then you 
must find your Monado. My Monado. Precisely. The one true Monado. Uh -huh. You can't do that because you aren't here, not anymore. <gasps> Sir, did you get any of that? I, I don't understand. Double shulk. Uh, is, is everyone okay? Yeah. That was a close one. I mean, how on Bionis did we survive that? We seem all right. I don't know. It could be that we were just lucky, but I'm sure there must be more to it than that. You were protected by the power of Lady Maynith. Oh. Who's there? Oh, this is his sister. Nipple knees. Boobies. Damn, those are pointy. A machina. Are you... Vanea? Vanea? Does that mean you're... Nicole's daughter? I am glad you are safe, Lady Maynath. Eh? Huh? Lady Maynath? Uh... Um... That face was sent to destroy you. I am truly happy you are all right. You're lying. Gado would never try and hurt us. Sadly, his home's memories no longer remain. Damn. The current faces are nothing more than weapons designed to annihilate all life on Bionis. It can't be. Faces are created by directly integrating the brainstem and metabolic organs of Homs into Mekon. Memories and emotion are nothing but a hindrance to an effective weapon. However, the early faces were experimental. Many retained memories from their former lives. This prevented them from executing their missions effectively. More recent faces have had all memories of their previous lives completely erased. Is that because of me? No, it is not your fault. Munkar seems the more likely candidate. Hmm. His attachment to us was too strong. You could say it caused his destruction. That sword one and all. You are correct. No, it's not true. Oh, my Gaddo. Sharla? Explain it to me. I mean, why does Egil want to make us into Mekon? What's the reason for all this? In order to counter the Monado. I knew it. Well, we can't hit people, so... True. Uh, we used to not be able to hit people. The, Hyantia, ...the Homs, against all races of Bionis. Egil suffered a bitter defeat in the battle one year ago. After that, he theorized that he could counter the Monado by integrating organic life from Bionis. Of course. Initially, the Monado couldn't take a Homs life. It can now, though. It could not harm those who share the blood of Zanza. That was its sole weakness. But Zanza lifted that constraint. Those who share the blood of Zanza? Who is that giant? The progenitor of the Homs. Ancestor? Grandpappy? Him? And once the friend of my brother, Egil, before they became sworn enemies. <sighs> It was Zanza who devastated Maconis. What? Huh. Hmm. Well then. I don't know if we're the good guys. Oh right, they are gearing up to attack. Wow. Latest anti-mechon weapons. 
designed by Lorothea and the Ministry of Research. What a glorious sight. The coming together of all the peoples of Bionis. Yes, sir. This is how it should always have been. Then perhaps Father would not. Nah, no, come on, man. Your Highness. We are fortunate that Dixon informed us of the enemy's new weapon. Our defenses are ready. Today, we start our campaign against Galahad Fortress. Just beyond the fortress lies the Imperial capital of Meconis. This is a battle to determine not just our own fates, but the future of all life on Bionis. We fight for future prosperity and the glory and honor of all. Troops, advance! Nice. Are you saying that Zanza is to blame for Makonis devastation? It's Zanza's sword that I'm using. Does this mean we're enemies? And if so, why are you... Shulk, calm down. Sorry, I... I will take you to the Makonis capital, Agniritha. Is that your plan? Lead us straight to the gates of our enemy? Deliver us into Egil's hands. It will be quicker to show you than to explain. Then you will understand the history of Makonis and the battle between the two titans. Up ahead is a lift that leads to the central factory within the chest of the sure. Makonis. The capital, Agniratha, lies just beyond there. So we got our next two areas and a new guest it's been a while since we've had one of those uh oh why the hell are we all the way back here we were up there that's where we were fighting him explosion knocked us back that far is there's a escalator escalator no up uh, conveyor belt they see me road. <laughs> any purple part? Uh, any uh, blue bits? Seems like no. So yeah, sir. What do you think? We think's going on in the story. A lot of shit is happening now. We're getting a lot of exposition. I know what it all means, and even still, this shit is confusing. Second Gamalt Bulkhead. And we got an achievement for, uh, so we got two achievements. Unyielding Devotion. I don't know what that one is. Let me see. Unyielding Devotion. Because we got one for locations. That we are. I can feel the Port, power. terminal, and central gate. All right. So let me see here. Unyielding devotion. Fully develop three of Sharla's skill branches. The hell. She did? I guess so. Huh. Alright, we'll put you on that, and Ricky is done with vivacity. So we'll put him on... flexibility, I guess. And here we are. The Central Factory. And sir, you know what that means. New area. New yes. Collectopedia. New Collectopedia. You have to. Or have to. Have to. Have to. This is our third to last area. We have this, then Agniritha, 
and then the, uh, the last area. We are getting, we are winding down here. Kind, kind of nuts to consider that, but, but we are. So yeah, sir, give me, give me your theories right now. What, what do you think is gonna happen? What's, what's going on? We're going to be, we're gonna bring peace and prosperity to both Mech on us and Bai on us. You sure? Hope so. We will, we will most definitely see a next time. I've been player one. I've been player two. And we'll see you then. It's going it's going to go straight into it. We got we don't got that much more quests to do, so we're just gonna go straight into it. Alright. Bye bye. Bye.